We continue our knowledge sharing mission through a series with interviews with executive leaders from all over the world. And we're thrilled to have Aaron with us today. Hey, my name is Aaron Kinsbrunner. I'm a DevOps Chief Evangelist at Perforce based in Boston. So maybe you could give us a one sentence description of your company. Perforce is a DevOps industry leader providing solutions throughout the entire DevOps pipeline, including security, planning, code management, and compliance trying to solve the hardest challenges within DevOps, again, throughout the entire pipeline. Could you maybe describe the role of a DevOps chief evangelist in one word and why? In one word, I would use innovation and I'll explain why. As you know, we are living in a digital landscape where everything changes as we speak, new platforms, new browsers, new application types. And for these types of application, you need to be prepared. You need to understand how to properly develop, secure, analyze, test, and release to production. And for that, you need to be innovative. You need to be very creative. You need to do a lot of research so you can be on top of all of these challenges. So innovation, in my mind, is the key word here. And so maybe you could share with us what current business challenges you're facing at the moment, and if maybe you can identify a solution for them. I would say the pace of innovation in our space is one of the biggest challenges because today's developers, DevOps leaders are using what they have right now, the current tools. But as they develop their solutions, the industry around us continuously evolves. So how do you keep up while you are using your own tools, trying to solve your own problems, relate and address what's happening surrounding you? So I think this is the biggest challenge, being on top of the market trends, being on top of everything that is surrounding us, because at the end of the day, we are not building software in a vacuum. We are building software to support our end users, which are also, by the way, impacted by all these challenges. And I think to be on top of that, to actually solve this problem, by the way, it's not one and done. It's a continuous effort. You need to do a lot of research. You need to be in these kind of groups of innovation. So A, you are in the know. You understand what's happening, what's coming, what are the biggest trends that are going to impact your own vertical. And B, you need to invest in your people, in your skill set, in the technologies that they are using so they are always ready and prepared to address what's coming ahead of them. So apart from that and the current challenges you're going through, I know you do have an impressive history in public speaking, and you're also an Amazon best-selling author of four different software testing and development books. How do you explain the success that you've had in your career? I take a lot of risks during my daily walk, during my entire career. If someone in the audience knows me from early stages, I wasn't close to what I'm doing right now. I did a lot of shifts in my career based on opportunities that came in front of me. And I just see that at the moment and I just jump on them. And like with these books, I got an idea and I said, okay, I'm not a born author. What's the relation for me to writing books? And suddenly in less than five years, I wrote four books. So my advice, if you see an opportunity that even though it seems a bit frightening and it's not in your wheelhouse, jump on it. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. You will fail. You will learn from it and you'll move forward. So I take a lot of chances. I look at opportunities and if they seem quite interesting to me, I'm not afraid of taking the risks and learning from some of the mistakes. I'm not perfect, of course. So also learning from the mistakes is another thing that I'm doing day in and day out. Are there any marketing or business trends that you are taking advantage of right now? Definitely, I'm taking a huge advantage of what we see today around us with the social media. I'm not taking the bad things that uh, people might say about social media. I'm actually taking the networking power of social media today. I think that digital marketing today has become one of the powerful tools for any product marketers, product managers. You cannot just learn from the experience of others and share your own. You can actually collaborate with so many different practitioners, executives, and be a better practitioner yourself. So I think that the biggest, in my mind, by far, trend that I'm using today is the social media channels, Slack, LinkedIn, Twitter, and the likes, and communities, medium.com, and other websites, because they are giving me tools to collaborate with the market, with the community itself. And sometimes they're actually allowing me to build my own community, which is another great advantage of these tools. If you could share one piece of career advice, what would it be? 
Definitely, I think that you need to be comfortable in the environment that you are walking in. You need to be able to learn from the ones that are surrounding you. In my mind, if you are walking in an environment that doesn't nurture you to be a better practitioner, you might not be in the right place. And always learn from what you have around you. If you feel that you are stuck, you might not be in the right place. Well, I think that brings us to a close. Thanks again for joining us today. And I look forward to our next catch up. Thank you.